What's going on, Bully Fam? I've been getting a lot of questions about what is a reverse progesterone? How do you do a reverse progesterone? Why do you need to do a reverse progesterone? What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist. Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about like what are reverse progesterones. The biggest question I'll ask, and, and this is even from people who have purchased progesterone machines from us um, that I've shown how to do progesterone, things like that. They'll ask us the question of how do I do a reverse progesterone? And I tell people, if you know what progesterone testing is, and, and, and this episode really isn't for uh, what progesterone testing is and how to do that. I have plenty of other episodes. Check out the episode uh, progesterone one-on-one -on -one, uh, 101 <laughs> and that'll that'll give you pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to progesterones But now for reverse progesterone right reverse progesterone testing. That's what I wanted to talk about today reverse progesterone <laughs> Don't mind that's gross bones. He snores. He don't care about these episodes anyway <laughs> um, So like I was saying reverse progesterone right so um what are they how do you do them why do you need to do them so with reverse progesterones essentially you're doing the same thing as a progesterone wait, wait what? what literally regular progesterone test so let's just get that out of the way the same exact way you would get a progesterone test done where you're drawing the blood spinning it down putting the serum on the cassette strip, putting that inside the progesterone machine, giving you a number, it's the same exact way. So I wanted to get that out of the way. It's the same exact way as if you're doing a regular progesterone. Now the only difference is um, really why we're doing them and how we interpret the results. So actually, I got a chart. I always keep my, I always keep my charts over here um, and I'm gonna explain this in a second. So, um, why would you do a reverse progesterone? So obviously you do regular progesterone testing because you wanna know um, when the female is most fertile to be bred, you know? So um, obviously you do your regular progesterone testing and when she's ready to be bred, you go ahead and breed her. With reverse progesterone testing, we're doing the opposite. So the female is pregnant, so we're testing to see when the puppies are gonna be here. There's a few ways to know when the puppies are gonna be born. Um, there's taking the temperature, there's looking at her signs, is she nesting, things like that. Usually the temperature is pretty spot on. Um, but with reverse progesterone testing, that's gonna tell us when essentially the female um, is gonna be ready, say we need to do a C-section. Especially if you're into like the bully breeds, um, Frenchies, English Bulldogs, exotic bullies, even American bullies. If you're gonna get a C-section done, which I highly recommend getting C-sections done, um, it's it's I talk about it all the time. It's important get a c-section done It's almost unethical not to get a c-section done. Um, you risk losing the puppies. You risk losing the mother Just get a c-section done. So With doing a reverse progesterone it almost allows us to now And I'm trying to make this as simple as possible This one isn't gonna be super 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 in-depth because I want the average person to, to really grasp it and understand this And if you guys already understand this then you can share this with someone who maybe doesn't understand reverse progesterone but um, essentially what you're doing is we're testing to see when the puppies are gonna be here. That's why you do a reverse progesterone. She's pregnant. Um, I usually start around day 57 from the first breeding. So essentially what you're gonna wanna do is when the female is like 57 days um, from when you did your first breeding and obviously you confirmed with a relaxing test, ultrasound, x-ray, that there's puppies, um, you want a time when you're doing your C-section. And ultimately, this is the best. This and taking the temperatures is the best surefire way to make sure that you're not having puppies in the middle of the night, um, that you're getting a C-section done on time, the puppies aren't premature, you're not doing the C-section early, things like that. So essentially, like I said, the reason why you're doing a reverse progesterone is to make sure that you're timing when the puppies are gonna be here so that you can be prepared so that then you can do your C-section. That's really what the reverse progesterone is for. Um, you could all do, also do a reverse progesterone if you just wanna know when the puppies are gonna be here for, um, say you don't do um, C-sections, but for other reasons, maybe you wanna be prepared, make sure you're not away, whatever the case may be. But 
that's what the reverse progesterone is for to time when the puppies will be here um now what i've found is like i said at day 57 um but essentially when you're doing these reverse progesterone so now you know why you would do a reverse progesterone now i've already explained how you're going to do it exactly the same way as if you were doing a regular progesterone the one other thing is basically how do we interpret the results on a reverse progesterone so now you're going to go ahead and go to your vet you're going to go to whoever does your progesterone testing your female is going to be pregnant she's going to be ready to have puppy soon and you say hey i need a reverse progesterone done well now just as you did and i'm going to put a chart probably somewhere else around here so you can see just the same the same way you interpret the results as far as you know one and twos and threes being the lower numbers where you're not going to be ready to do your breeding and you want to do your breedings around you know 10 12 15 depending on the machine that you're going with whether it's an idex wanfo things like that uh essentially that's what you're doing is as the numbers go higher on the progesterone that's when um once you hit a specific number depending on what machine you have you're going to do your ai you're going to do your breeding now when she goes up for her heat her numbers stay high whether she's pregnant or not but once her numbers start to come down that's when we could do our reverse progesterone testing and that's when we can see when the puppies are going to be here as the numbers go down so generally around then day 57 um that's when you'll start testing and you'll see that the numbers are going to start going down um the key thing is just like you have a specific number on your progesterone to get to do your ai is the same thing as far as you're gonna have a specific number um, and that's when it's safe to do a c-section so now the key thing is just be mindful every machine will throw a different number um, mini vitus idex wanfo so for example on an idex machine anything under a three so if you do the progesterone test and she's a three anything a three or under is safe to do your c-section and the puppies won't be premature um the puppies probably would have been born within 48 hours anyway each machine is different definitely a three under a three on this machine and definitely under a three on an idex machine um and uh you would need to look at like mini vitus i haven't done those in a, in a long time i'm not sure what that would convert to um but essentially i've been doing fives with this machine and i've been having uh success um once it drops under a three on an idex anything under that number it's safe to do your cut and, and bring the puppies out if you do it sooner you can have premature puppies and and that's a nightmare because premature puppies they're more than likely die within the first week um you're gonna be having to deal with a headache around the clock. It's just a nightmare. So that's why you do reverse progesterone testing so that you know when the puppies are here and you're taking them at the right time. If you take the puppies out at the right time when doing a C-section, it makes the whelp so much more easier. Um, you'll, you'll actually be saving money in my opinion because if you take out premature puppies because you didn't do reverse progesterone and her temperature didn't drop, well, now you're going to be spending money on all kinds of supplies, tube feeding kits, things like that, um, just to keep these puppies alive. Um, possibly incubators, the list goes on. So um, if you take them out at the right time, they come out nice and girthy, nice and hardy, and they're a lot easier to take care of. You're going to have to do a lot less work. So that's why doing reverse progesterones are key. That's why I do them with every single breeding. So I know when the puppies are gonna be here and I could time my C-sections correctly, as well as it's gonna save you a lot of money. Yeah, some progesterone tests can be anywhere between 50 to 100, $150. At least it will allow you to schedule your C-section and pay and not have to pay an emergency fee. Because if you wait and don't do a reverse progesterone, what will happen is the puppies will be born because you didn't know. And now you're paying a vet an emergency C-section where here in New York, um, I can get a C-section for about $1,000. An emergency C-section can be around $5,000. Your progesterone test would have only cost you at $50 to $100. So even if you had to do four tests, saved you a ton of money. So that's what i really wanted to cover um anything higher than that five on these machines anything higher than that the numbers can still fluctuate so don't go based off of oh she's a six she's close enough let's do it oh she's a she's a seven it's close enough let's do it i know of a vet locally that was doing c-sections at a seven and 
and all those C-sections, puppies were dying left and right. And people were wondering why, what's going on. And it was because the vet was doing the C-sections too early. So you need to educate yourself as well. So with that being said, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, I got this chart. I'll put it up somewhere around here. So now, essentially, all you're doing is reading the progesterone results in reverse. So instead of a high number, we're looking for a low number. And anything under, like I said, on our machine, I would say five. Um, but if you want to play it safe, do three. Um, IDEX machine, definitely a three and under. Um, and just educate yourself. Like I said, try that out, get your progesterones done, and you'll see how the puppies are gonna come out so much more girthier. The best thing you can do, in, in my opinion, is cut it as close as possible to when she would naturally have her puppies. And sometimes, what I've found is, even though you go off of a certain amount of days um, from when you did your breedings and things like that, and so on and so forth, remember, it's not so much about the days of breeding, it was about the days of ovulation. I did a breeding with a friend of mine. Um, he counted the days and he said, hey, double muscle, it's day 59. I think we should cut her open. She's, she's big, but her temperature hasn't dropped and um, we haven't done a reverse yet. I told him, I said, you know what, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do a reverse because I don't think she's quite ready yet. We did a reverse and she wasn't. She did not have the puppies until day 63. So imagine if, if to someone who wouldn't know, they did the C-section at day 59, the puppies would have been here about four to five, almost a week early, which definitely guarantees they would have came out very weak, a lot of work, possibly could have all died. So I just wanted to, I didn't want to go super crazy. I wanted to make this super simple and, and so, that, so that people could understand what a reverse progesterone is, um, why you would need to do it. And um, it, it really is important. It really is important getting a reverse progesterone done. Um, I can't stress that enough. And for my breeders that already know about reverse progesterones and um, are familiar with it and things like that, you know, feel free to drop a comment down below, some information. Give some information to somebody who may not know as much and can read the comments and see, you know, your experience or your take on the reverse progesterones. So anyway, guys, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.